When I started to do this video, a song by the Eagles came to mind called Lion Eyes. And here are some of the lyrics. City girls just seem to find out early how to open doors with just a smile. A rich old man, and she won't have to worry. She'll dress up, all in lace, go in style. Murphy now lives with her new love, her new husband, art dealer Kevin Purepan. They live in Monarch Beach, California. She actually spends her days in the gallery, the Laguna Beach Gallery, which they own together. She's surrounded by fine art, and then her free time, she likes to play golf and go boating. When Sandy Murphy came to Las Vegas, she came with about $10,000 in cash, which she promptly lost at uh, some of the casinos. So what she was trying to do to make it back to California, she was going to uh, sell some lingerie to a local strip joint in Las Vegas called Cheetahs. Now this is where she met uh, Ted Binion, who is actually 28 years older than her. Uh, Ted Binion's father, Benny Binion, is the one who, uh, who founded the Horseshoe in Las Vegas back in the 50s. So they hit it off real well, and he ends up buying her a Mercedes-Benz, and he also gave her a credit card with a $10,000 limit. Uh, he moved her into his house on Palomino, and I understand that the uh, master bedroom in itself was about 1,000 square feet. As Sandy and Ted's relationship begin to sour, this is where Rick Tabish comes in. Uh, he ends up becoming the boyfriend of Sandy Murphy. Rick Tabish would do some work for Ted Binion. He would haul sand and such. And he's the one that actually uh, dug and built the silver vault out in Pahrump. And as Rick Tabish would testify, he just fell in love, just fell in love with Sandy. The jury of the first trial uh, found Murphy and Tabish guilty of first degree murder and conspiring to steal uh, Ted's silver and coins and, and uh, currency uh, worth about $7 million out in the vault that he buried in uh, Pahrump. Uh, Nye County Sheriff's deputies arrested Tabish at the site of the vault. He and two other men were digging up the silver two days after Binion's death. But the prosecution's murder case was purely circumstantial, relying heavily on his testimony of Michael Baldwin, Dr. Michael Baldwin. He's the doctor that, if you remember the trial, those of you who watched it, He's the uh, doctor that testified that two small red lesions on the Binion's chest indicated that he died as a result of burking. And burking is a technique in which one person obstructs a victim's nose and mouth while the other sets on his chest. After her uh, conviction, Sandy actually spent the first six months in solitary confinement. And during this time, um, she contacted uh, Harvard Law professor Alan Dershowitz, and she, was, she asked him to handle her appeal. And um, she wrote a 30-page letter that was so compelling, so compassionate and persuasive that uh, Dershowitz decided to represent her. He said she, she practically wrote a brief. A wealthy businessman by the name of Bill Fuller paid all her legal bills. They were in excess of $4.5 million. And she said that he really believed in her innocence. And then after, after her release, uh, he helped her again uh, acquire a home in Las Vegas, uh, just outside of Las Vegas in Henderson. He also provided her with a job within his mining company. Uh, his thoughts was, uh, once he got her uh, out of jail, that uh, they would end up getting married, but that didn't work out. Uh, so in September of 2006, when she was dining at Master's Ocean Club, which is in Newport Beach, California, she ran into an old friend who introduced her to a guy by the name of Kevin Pierpan. He was the owner of the Coast Gallery 
uh, our gallery in Laguna Beach, California. Uh, Murphy and Pirapan begin dating, and then in February of 2007, she moved into his, uh, his beachfront home. Uh, she had no prior experience in art sales, but he ended up hiring her uh, to help with his gallery, uh, help her sell artwork. And she says that she has a great love for art, and it comes very natural to her. 2003, more than three years after her conviction, the Nevada Supreme Court ruled that the trial was unfair because Judge Bonaventure had made two errors. First, he had included an unrelated charge in a trial alleging Tabby's tortured a businessman to get him to sign over his interest in a sand pit. Uh, you may re remember seeing that in a trial. And secondly, he allowed Brown's statement. Now, Brown was the attorney for uh, Ted Binion. Uh, he worked with him on his will. He allowed Brown's statement about the will into evidence without instructing the jury that it should only be considered as an offering into Binion's state of mind at the time of his death and not as evidence Murphy actually wanted him dead. The admission of the hearsay statement without explaining to the jury the Supreme Court said was unfair. This is Sandy Murphy today. She's in the art business. Uh, as we scroll through some of the paintings that she's done in her own right, you may see on some, the bottom right, SM. Uh, her place is called Coast Gallery, Laguna Beach. It's located at 540 South Coast Highway, Suite 100, Laguna Beach, California, 92651. I'll go ahead and give you the uh, email and phone number because both are public. It's on their website. The email is coastgallery at gmail.com. Again, that's coastgallery at gmail.com. The phone number is area code 949-376-4185. Uh, thanks for watching my video of Sandy today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the top.